And we're back, listeners, with day three of 98.1 WPHY's round-the-clock coverage of the Segway 500. Brought to you by various subsidiaries of the General Gamble Corporation. You're here with Dave and Phil in the morning. Still, if you're just tuning in, we're nearly a quarter of the way through mile 154 of this vile carnival of suffering you people call a spark. If it wasn't for you people, I could be at home in bed in my footsie pajamas cuddling with Fitzgerald, my basset hound. Instead, I'm on the longest coke bender of my life since the 1984 WPHY pledge drive in 1984. Daddy, Mrs. Quincy. No can it, you sniveling ass. Taking the lead in our barely mobile flock of gym shorted frat holes is Tyler Stockton, a former linebacker for Bowling Green University. Now unemployed and morbidly obese, Stockton spends most of his free time playing massive multiplayer online role playing games and grabbing crayon drawings of naked girls and copies out of old hustler magazines he found on the bus. <laughs> Stockton earns the entirety of his living from a trust fund set up by his parents, currently deceased, and lives all of his existence inside a Segway triangle encompassing his apartment, the Big Harry's menswear outlet at the mall and the local Dragon's Breath Chinese Buffet and Laundromat, where every Tuesday is free egg roll night. Dragon's Breath Chinese and Laundromat is a subsidiary of Teeming Beast Energy Drink, LLC. Teeming Beast, <coughs> unleash the monster! Ladies and gentlemen, here in the studio with us is former champion Segway racer Baxter Saxton! <laughs> Already said that. Ah, fuck this, I'm going out for a cigarette. <laughs> 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 Not like I was listening to radio. That was great, man. <laughs> 